Imagine a swan in a narrow river-like offshoot of the lake in the center of Geneva, which winds around the polished shops, well-scrubbed streets, and arched bridges. A large, muscular, white form, glittering, sparkling, mass of feathers, the strong, iconic curve of the neck disappearing into the black mass of its downturned beak. Trapped in the inescapable force of an absurdly, outrageously, impossibly powerful current, whizzing uncontrollably down the doomed jet stream, walled in on both sides by clean white stone embankment towards the moderately red brick wall of a certain moss-free bridge. First, the feathers protruding from the swan's gleaming dewy bus press into the rough, impenetrable brick, their soft white tips lifting and turning over, the fragile ribbing splaying open sloppily as they crumble into one another. And then the contact of the fleshy breast causes the soft, poultry skin to collapse in on itself, rippling backwards as the body compacts, as the brilliant white curve of the breast is flattened. The small black head is thrown backward on its pendulously bending tether. The curve of the neck retreats first into a deeper curve and then with a twisting jolt throws itself the head whipping back to the side the black beaked face swinging around in an arc before violently snapping back forward in an uncontrollable reaction to the commencement of the lower body's collision with the brick the small feathers covering the head ruffled in a moment of anxiety stand on end the facial muscles spasming as the neck whips around, twisting, and the head flings forward into the brick. The black beak, gaping open in a shrieking, fearful cry, contacts first, its rounded tip, gracing the brick and continuing forward. At contact, the top, wet lip of the splayed beak snaps backward with a distinct crunch. The thick, black lip explodes into a geyser of bright red blood, spraying into the virgin white of the down, which, in delicate order, quilts the sloping forehead of the fowl just above its black, beady eyes that bulge with bursting blood vessels and fear.